So a few years ago, I got back into D&D. And it got me thinking about how much I used to love making my own games. And I did some board games, but the majority of the games that I made were RPGs. So I decided to make a new RPG. And my intention on this one was to go all out, playtest it, get feedback, make changes, and then ultimately publish it. But a weird thing happened during this process. You see, I initially intended that this RPG would be a present day modern campaign setting with magic and guns and characters having access to smartphones modern. But as I was building out the, the game and creating the tables of equipment and spells and such, I used placeholders that were a little more familiar, a little more easily adaptable. And the placeholders were of a medieval fantasy realm. You know, we're talking swords and plate armor and stuff like that. I kind of just kept going. I kept building out the game. Now, it wasn't until I had what I was calling version 0.9 of this RPG, basically the version that I was going to play test with people, I realized that everything was still medieval. The whole campaign setting was still this medieval fantasy realm and not modern present day Earth. But in the play test, the feedback was actually pretty positive and there were obvious changes that needed to be made. And so I made many changes, tried to kind of overcome some of the, the, the faults in the game, but I decided in that process that I was just gonna stick with it because it was working out and it, the familiarity had already been developed. But I thought that if this does well, then I would make another version of it or a sequel or something that was in the initially uh, desired campaign setting. Eventually I decided that I was just going to do more of an expansion style system where the new campaign setting was just going to be kind of an add-on that keeps the core architecture of the game intact and the, the mechanics and everything are, are the same, but these specific elements are pulled out and replaced. And this got me thinking about expectations and how you should probably just keep checking in on your expectations. If you're writing a novel, is the story going the way you intended it to go? I know that we need to have flexibility uh, for changes that may be for the better, but it's something that you should still keep track of because you may not necessarily know that the new direction is better than your intended direction unless you've been really paying attention. So it's kind of always a good idea that, again, even if you're going to go a different direction with something, to just keep in mind your intent on that. And why is it that it's going this direction? Why are you doing this this way? And I think that applies to countless things in our lives, but I really wanted to hone in on what it means creatively in this video. I don't know, I think I might make a video in the near future about creative intent in imagery, and if you want to see that, leave a comment down below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.